What's up everyone, Big Black Love here. Just had to make you a video real quick. I uh, finished up uh, my 49 Merc two-door coupe. Um, came out pretty good. I messed it up a little bit, but it's still a nice little shelf piece. Um, yeah, turned it into a low rider. And it's just real simple, flat black with a little red. Um, lowered it in the back, lifted it up in the front, detailed the engine a little bit. Didn't really wire it up, didn't want to take the time. <clears throat> and then I got a little glimpse of something I'm putting together. It's kind of pretty damn custom, but it's going to be a really quick build. Everything's going together really good. It only took me like an hour to mock it up. Now I just got to build a few things, make a few mounts, and paint it and put it together. And it's going to be flat black too, so, you know, no time there spent the paint job. But, uh, yeah, here I'll show you a 49 Merc. A little glimpse back there on my table, and that's all you get to see in the box. And here's the Merc sitting slammed. You can just see light underneath it. So, yeah. There she is. Yeah, I got a little anxious and I wore the paint off here. I touched it too much when the paint wasn't quite cure and it's only one coat, so I'm going to touch it up with some brush paint. I lost my mirror. Who knows about that? But, let's see. It's painted the inside of the hood red. I just kind of did it real sloppy so it looks dirty. Just painted it up red and aluminum, you know. There's a, just did the side pipes on it. Kind of looks orange, but that's just flat red testers paint, aluminum testers, and same thing inside. The same flat red. I just put it on really thin and spread it out over the flat black, and it kind of made it look like it was all dirty and old. Can't really even see in there, but it looks pretty good. Yeah, put a little low rider plaque in the back window because you know you're juiced up on D's. You gotta have a low rider badge. And I did not put the tail lights in because I figured uh, it kind of made it look like it had Frenched in hidden LED tail lights without them, so I just left it out. And yeah, just you know, real simple, nothing special at all. Um, you know, just a quick build. Kind of took me a while because my back, everything takes me way longer now. But, so there's that out of the way. And, um, yeah. Pete, Southwest Rod and Customs. There's a t shirt, baby. I'm going to make a frame for it, I promise. It's one of my projects this summer. Or, summer. <laughs> Summer's over, fool. It's winter time. Ha! Um, yeah. Oh, look, look. You see that right there? Oh, wrong shoulder. You see that? Right there. Oh, what, what's that say? Dotson 240Z. Hmm. Man, if I had one of those, it'd be one cool car for real. But I can't have one, so I'd build a model of it, and this is what it's going to be. <clears throat> this is what my Dotson 240Z would look like. Oh, What's what's that underneath? That's a header on the passenger side. What's oh my god, there's a header on the driver's side too? Dude, this thing's supposed to have an inline six in it. Dude, what's that sitting under the hood? Oh my god, it's a dual quad small block Chevy motor. Whoa! Look at that. Fits in there like a glove. So, <clears throat> ain't that a tease? <laughs> okay, I'll let you look again. Just slight modifications to the suspension front and rear. As you can see, I'm using the stock wheels front and back. 
Uh, those are slicks from uh, one of the GTS GTX kits. And as you can see, it's the stock front suspension and the stock rear suspension. I just need to make the engine transmission mount and a drive line and then put her together. Um, so yeah, it's going to be my little quickie, quickie hot rod. So I got to take my braces out and stuff. But yeah, so hopefully this one here will be done shortly. Um, I got a couple uh, pretty major builds coming up. Um, one of them is going to be a top secret. Um, there's going to be no teases, no nothing. It'll be a month or two long build of serious trying to build. And um, then I got something super crazy when it's going to get revealed. It's going to blow everybody away, I swear. Ain't no one done this before, so... Um, and don't no one try to find out. Ain't no one. Only one person knows, and he ain't gonna tell no one because he's involved. So, and I'm just having a problem. Uh, this two dot two forty Z cut, you know, my eye sitting there on the shelf, and I decided, hey, I should build that. But I do not know what I should build next. Um. You know, I was thinking about maybe doing the the 90s Impala SS or maybe that new Hemi Dart kit, maybe even one of these new funny cars, but I just don't know. I got too many kits. It's a huge problem. I should have never got this many kits, but man, when you got the money and you come across kits you can't even buy anymore, you got to buy them, right? I mean, am I crazy? Am I really? I think so. <laughs> So, yeah, here we go. This is what we got over here. So, yippity yep yep. I'm trying to build up a good table area, but, you know, it works. Got my t shirt from minihorsepower.com over here, and Southwest Riding Custom t shirt. Pete, you the man. And, um, yeah.